Okay, so the uh, update or the important point you should pick is that uh, now five people have been confirmed dead. Yesterday was about four uh, as we recorded and by this morning um, five all have been taken to um, the mortuary. Now, uh, security safety uh, analyst Adam Bona is also joining us via Zoom. Uh, but before then, we will also be hearing from some youth of the area. First, Buara Majid, secretary to the Mamprugu Youth Association, um, um, is on. Um, Buara, thank you for your time. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to Newsbeat. So you have accused the regional minister of staggering the peace process. How so? Yes, good good afternoon to your viewers and good afternoon to you as well. The regional minister is the chairman of the regional security committee of Upper East Region. He's a native of Boku. He's a Kusasi by tribe. So during the heat of the conflict, the Boku Bolga Road became insecure for people in Tao to traverse that road to Bogatanga. So the security put up security measures of escorting the passengers from Boku to Bolga and then mostly from Bolga to Boku in order to ensure that they are, their lives are protected. But a directive came from the regional minister that such escort should stop. So the security then aborted the escort. Another stretch of the road are now used by these Kusasi bandit to attack bandit to attack any person that they perceive he is a sympathizer of Mampusis in Boku. Four attacks. That particular road, they have attacked four, four, four solid attacks have been executed in that road. And this is the fifth attack. Even an ambulance, a patient was being transported to the TTH. They attacked, they shot at the ambulance and the driver ran away and left the ambulance on that same stretch of road. Now you call yourself a regional minister and, and regional security council chairman. What have you done to protect life and properties? That means that the regional minister is complicit. Complicit in the sense that he has decided that the police should not escort the people to Borga so that his tribe men could have a free range to kill innocent people that they perceive are uh, either sympathizers to Mampuses or are uh, Mampuses. That is why we are accusing the how, regional minister. How, how dangerous it, it, is it to have a Kusasi as a regional minister? It is dangerous because the, the regional minister is the one who is in charge of all the security affairs in Boku. And he's, pay, and he's paying lip service. And to the knowing this minister, situation. is he a person that you don't think can take a neutral ground and he ensure the safety a, of both cannot, sides? He cannot take a neutral ground because he's a party to the conflict. We know Stephen Yakubu during his youth days. He and Cletus Avoka and Co were leading the Kusasi Youth Association. That they were fighting for the Kusasis. They were those crusading for the Kusasi. So now, how can such a person play a neutral role when his tribe man and he himself was he, he himself is part of the Boku crisis? He cannot play. He cannot play a neutral role. So we told so that we have after. To the president. Look, mm -hmm. Let me provide you an important information. Mm -hmm. Since the conflict started in November 2001, the regional minister has not stepped foot even to town to assess the security situation. He has not even come to the Mampuses and our region to even appeal for calm. Yet he's been going to the Kusasi chief not once, not twice, not thrice. He's been going there to his tribe men, but he has never stepped foot to the regent of the Mampuses to even talk to him or to even receive concerns from the region as to how they can maintain peace and stability in Boku. He has never done that. He has never done that. So now such a person is such a person, his attitude clearly shows that he is a, he, he has taken sides as far as the Boku conflict is concerned. And and more so, the Kusasis are further emboldened because of his inactiveness to commit further murder 
and crime because they have somebody who who, who they think super uh, supervises the security situations in the region. Are that the is feeling? Are you are you feeling threatened because you have a Kusasi leading you? We are threatened. We are threatened because a Kusasi, who is a party to this conflict, is not supposed to even lead any security delegations or or security security deliberations in Boku. As far as his threat is concerned. And, 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 and you as a party to the conflict as well, what will you advise that uh, in the interim, who to be appointed to lead your... Any neutral tribe within the Upper East region, be it a Frafra, be it a Nabdam, or be it a Kasina. They have... They, when Atangoba was there, we have not seen such kind of murders in Boku. But why is it that Stevie Yakubu took place and such, such kind of murders are happening? That tells you that he is complicit. He is complicit to the act. He has not visited the region. He has not visited anybody to ascertain how the people are suffering. He doesn't care as far as it benefits his tribe men. If you look at his own district, the Binduri district, Mampusi's women that plied trade at the October market, their wares were burned down. Burned to ashes. Zebila, Mampusi women wears were burned to ashes. Garu, our women that plied trade there, they were beaten mercilessly. Till the security Congress went. To me, and that them. now the crime is taking into homes where women and children are also murdered. Women and children, women and children, because the moment they find any town woman within their territory, he becomes subject of an attack. Right. Um. Um. So well, right, Majid, just hold on. Let me speak with the uh, David.